it's in good hands because of the type of young man he is. points this season for you on this team was looking at their maturity level, how it's progressed throughout the season. How did it maybe that attitude, that level of focus come to fruition, not getting rattled by a big moment like this? Because of the experience we've been through throughout, throughout the year, where we may have gotten away from ourselves and the things that we've done, and, and I don't think they did that tonight. Uh, I thought they were poised. I thought they were patient. I thought they did a great job of understanding the moment, but knowing that what we were going to do, we were going to do it defensively first and then offensively let it flow and keep trusting each other, and they trust each other. They hit some big shots. Uh, they made some big passes, some big plays, but it was our defense that sparked everything from our offensive side of the floor. Jamal, are you able to describe the scene that just was happening in the locker room with some Gatorade flowing, I think? Well, and <laughs> you see, I changed my outfit. Uh, the, the, and they should. And they should. And, and, and this group should. This fan base should. This organization should. From ownership, to, you know, down to every person that's put, put in the work for this group um, because of how much they care. And so they should celebrate this moment. They should embrace this moment. And I'm not going to talk about, hey, we got to get locked in for this. Right now, we're going to enjoy this because they deserve to. Coach, just to, uh, to revisit the decision to start Jonathan, uh, it was determined just before the game that Wendell could play, mm -hmm. but you were a little uncertain about how many minutes or, or, or why, why, what dictated the decision to start J.I.? Well, I just think, that, you know, the last time we played them, we watched what, you know, Bobby Portis had done and the way they were starting with their lineup. So we did a couple of adjustments here with them. And, and I just thought our guys did a very good job of accepting the adjustments that we made uh, and not being sure if Wendell was going to go. And it's, it's not always easy to pull a guy at the last minute to, to, to change up what you've already game planned for. And so Wendell, understanding that, that situation was great about it. Just like all the other guys were fantastic, whether they played three minutes, no minutes, or 39 minutes. That's what this group is going to continue to be about for us to be successful. It's going to be by committee on every on any given night. Coach, it looked like Wendell was going to check into that game about four or five minutes into that second quarter. You pull him back and then you get him out there for those two minutes. That's the group. Of, that's the power of this group. I was getting ready to put him in. He said, Jonathan's going. Let him go. That's the power of a group. That's the power of this team. So when we can talk about it all day long and say by committee, by committee, it sounds great. But when a guy is willing to check in the game and then another guy is going and he's helping things and our flow is going, I just need, as a coach, I just need to shut up and let them do what they're supposed to do. And plus after that. Unbelievable. That's the power of this group. Coach, congratulations. Um, I'm sure you would like to clinch the playoffs a couple games ago, but <laughs> is it almost better that it happened this way? And what does it mean to win a win and end game for this group? It's better now. <laughs> yeah. Like those three games, no, they weren't. But you're right. And we talked about it with the group about, you know, what we've had three and four game sevens. We've had three game sevens. You go in you, Charlotte, you don't get it done. You come back, you get one. You go into Houston, you don't get it done. You play Milwaukee, you don't get it done. You come back again. You know, that's what this group had to learn to do, to understand and, you know, talk about the 76ers, how close you were. So to understand what you have to do in those moments, now the lesson you, you, you hope it's learned, um, and we're going to be in some tight ones again, which is good. But now they understand what it, they have to do and what they're